My presentation topic is on the Amish in the U.S. The Amish took arriving in America in the early to mid-1700s. They are attracted by the promise of religious freedom and at the chance to own their own land. They settled in southeastern Pennsylvania, which is Lancaster County. They are now only found in the U.S. and parts of Ontario. You can find them in 30 states across the U.S. The largest individual settlement is located in Holmes County, Ohio. The Amish population has grown a lot, mainly for two reasons. They have large families, usually averaging, averaging about six to seven children for each family. Um, they also have a high retention rate. Once the, uh, the Amish youth choose to join the Amish church, they remain a member once they've been baptized. It's estimated that the Amish population doubles every 20 years, and their projected growth in 2050 is over a million. The Amish folk culture. The Amish are sep organized into different districts or churches, and they usually have about 30 families, and they all s adhere to the common set of rules or guidelines for living, which is called their ordnung. You can easily pick out the Amish for the way that they are dressed. The women usually wear long, plain, solid cover dresses and head coverings, and the men have beards and suspenders. They choose to dress this way for many reasons. They believe that plain clothing is modest and it's biblical. They also believe that it is simple, that reduces their choice and simplifies life. It discourages any envy or jealousy, competition, and it even promotes unity within their group. They choose to drive a horse and buggy because it slows down the speed of life and they also maintain their distance from the world. It means they're consciously choosing transportation of not the world. The Amish speak a dialect of German known as Pennsylvania German or Pennsylvania Dutch. It is the language that sp they speak in their house. It's the first language the children learn. In Amish schools, their instruction is taught in English, along with some classes in High German. Their Bibles are written in High German. The Amish stopped going to school in 8th grade for two main reasons. Practicality, because Amish trades are agriculture and craftsmanship, they think that the children need the hands-on learning and apprenticeship that goes along with it. They also have religious objections. They feel that higher education can promote ideas that are counter to their Christian values. The Amish see threats of technology and that the easy contact with the world and the, the values and the sins out in the world. They do not have televisions, automobiles, computers, tele anything, uh, telephones. They think that it breaks down their family or community, serving as a distraction, and it also eliminates the need of relying on one another in their community. They also think that some of their labor-saving technologies take more than they give, and it robs their children the ability to learn the value of hard work. Some cases, after careful evaluations, a consensus may develop in around a t particular technology, and it may be adopted by the church and incorporated into their ordnung, or guidelines of living. What is Rumspringa? A lot of people have seen a TV show called Breaking Amish, where the children leave the Amish and go to the city in New York City and party and have a wild time. This is not the case. This is not real life. Um, Rumspringa is also, it's known, um, another word for it is running around. It's a term used to describe the period of adoles adolescence, the Amish experience around age 16 years old. Um, majority of the Amish don't leave home for the city. They don't even leave their house. Some, most of them remain in their house and under their parents' roof until they are married. The main purpose for Rumspring is to find a marriage partner. Um, they usually join a youth group at their church, and it could be church singings or games and activities, and dating is a big part of Rumspringa. A date 
before the Amish people would consist of, for example, of a young man inviting a young woman to drive her home in his buggy after a Sunday singing. They may exchange letters and see each other mainly on the weekends. They can date for about a year or longer, and then a man will ask for her hand in marriage and ask for the blessing of her parents. Rome Spring ends when the person is baptized, but they remain in the youth group until they find a spouse. Here in this picture, you can see a large youth group of the men and women, and you can tell that the young men do not have beards. They do not grow their beards until they are married. The practice of shunning. A lot of people, um, there's a lot of controversy around shunning. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand what it, what it is actually in their religion. Um, the practice of shunning for Amish is just to enforce the individual's commitment to God and make um, that they made along with their cong congregation. The uh, Amish practice shunning out of tough love in order to get the deviant person to see the error of their ways, change their behavior, and reaffirm their commitment to the church. Without rules and shunning, the integrity of the Amish church would rapidly disintegrate. Shunning can be simple as eating separately, not doing business with the person, accepting gifts or rides from a shunned individual, and excluding the person from community activities. But if that person was in need of the community, they would still, of course, go help them. Um, they're not as harsh as to kick them out like you see in the television shows and stuff on TV. They don't just kick them out and forget you never existed. Usually, if you... Uh, if the person repents and confesses that they've been wrong, they will gladly take their um, take them back into their community. They feel that shunning, when it's applied in the spirit of love, it strengthens their community and is only done as a last resort after they have been visited by family members and church members of telling them, hey, look, something's going on that's not right. And that is the end of my presentation. Does anybody have any questions?